This week, boys and girls, we've been having a chat about friendship and how important it is to be a good friend. And if you are a good friend, well, then you will have lots of friends. And in our Bible story today, we're going to think about Jesus because he needed friends too. After all, if he was going to save the world, I think he would need some people to help him. So today's story is called Jesus Chooses Some Friends. Who do you think would make good helpers for Jesus? Clever people? Rich people? Strong, important people? Some people might think so, but I'm sure by now you don't need me to tell you that they'd be wrong. Because the people God uses don't have to know a lot of things or have a lot of things. They don't have to be rich or really clever or very important. They just need to know Jesus a lot and they need to love God. And one day Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee when he saw some brothers and friends mending their nets. They were poor fishermen and Jesus called out to them, let's go. Peter, Andrew, James and John looked up at this man in the shore and they couldn't explain it. Their boats needed to be put away. Their nets needed mending. Fish were still still wriggling on the shore, but something about this stranger made them just drop their nets and their fish, leave their boats, leave everything and follow him. This God man was like no one they had ever met. When they looked at Jesus, their hearts filled up with a wonderful forever sort of happiness. And inside, it was as if they were running free in an open field. They knew that this man, Jesus, was going to be a very special friend for them. Jesus asked 12 men to be his helpers. And their names were Peter, Andrew, James and John, as we've heard about in this story. But he also chose some other men. And they were Matthew, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, another James, Simon, Thaddeus and Judas. And meeting Jesus would change all of their lives forever. So meeting Jesus really made a difference to those men's lives, boys and girls. And he can make a huge difference in our life too if we learn to trust him, to love him with all our heart. Now we're going to finish off our little Bible story today with a prayer. Let us pray. Oh, I forgot, we need to do our prayer drill. P-R-A-Y. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you today for friends. It is great to have friends in our life who we can share and enjoy things with. And although we don't see our friends very often at the minute, we pray that they are safe and well. We thank you for all the technology we can use so we can communicate with our friends. And most of all, Lord, we thank you that you have given us the skills to work this technology so our friends never seem too far away from us. Bless all our children at Balaki Primary School and their family members too. We also pray for all our staff members. Lord, keep everyone within our wee school family well and healthy and surround those who are unwell with your love and protection and restore them to full health. In your precious and sovereign name, we pray these things. Amen. Thank you for listening, boys and girls, and I hope you enjoyed today's Bible story and have a lovely weekend. Bye.